This is the number one Forex indicators channel on earth, and it is not even close. And fair warning, that intro is much, much louder on most of my indicators videos. But hello, traders. It's VP, and we are doing something a little different. This is one of the last, I don't know, five or six videos I'm going to do for the channel, but it's going to go at the very beginning of the technical analysis playlist um, for good reason. In the two years this channel has been around, I have learned a lot, basically, uh, what Different types of indicators resonate with different people, um, some of the objections I get along the way, and just a better idea of how to present all of this to you. So before we start, let's just put the disclaimer out there. I don't think I've put the disclaimer out for any of my indicator videos, so it's about time we do that. We'll just go ahead and start with it. Um, but if you are new to the channel, why am I claiming to be the king of indicators over here? Well. Um, I'm really one of the only people who ever took the time to explore what was really out there and test as many as I possibly could. And so I'm, I did a lot of the dirty work already, and I'm bringing all of this knowledge to you on this channel. So I've been a trader for over 10 years, started in 2009, right abouts, and then uh, I've been a pro ever since 2014. I'm a professional prop trader, as you saw on the intro screen, to where another firm pays me to trade on their behalf. And uh, five years running on that. And I was, I mean, there was a very small community out there. It was mostly programmers. But um, in the early part of the 2010s, I decided I didn't like the way Forex was being taught from a technical analysis standpoint, especially. It was all the same stuff over and over again. And I couldn't understand why, because I knew there was more out there. Um, so I said, okay, to hell with all that. I'm going to go my own path and explore all these new tools and see if I can put something really good together. And to date, I have deeply tested over 2,000 indicators um, for Forex trading. Some for other markets, but mostly for Forex trading. And uh, it took a long time, but it was worth it. And I'm going to make sure that it doesn't take nearly as long for you as it did me. But in this video, we're not going to talk about specific indicators. All right, don't leave. Uh, this is going to be a very important video if you want to understand how this channel works and you are going to want to know how this channel works. So we're going to talk about why trading with indicators is by far the superior way to trade from a technical analysis standpoint. Um, and I'm going to lay out nine different rules. Rules, just the overarching rules and ideas that you need to keep in the back of your mind when you are going on your own indicator search, uh, which I recommend everybody does. Um, there's some common objections out there that I've encountered along the way in the two years of making this channel. So uh, I'll kind of group them all together and do my best to answer them right here so we can just kind of get them out of the way. Um, because you might be thinking of these objections yourself, and a lot of people in the YouTube comments have also chimed in with these objections. So I think it's just better to answer them one time, just to make it easy. Um, but also at the very end, talk to you about how important all of this technical analysis is and how you go about it, and where it kind of falls in the overall scheme of things. I think you're going to be surprised. So. In technical analysis, you have price action trading, and then you have trading with indicators. Price action is more of what you probably most commonly see online, on YouTube, on Twitter, you know, on different websites. It's things like support and resistance lines, trend lines, pivot points, you know, all sorts of different price levels, Fibonacci, swing high, swing low, all of this stuff. And it is all over the place. It is the worst thing you can try and teach to a new trader because there's no definitives. You know, you don't know exactly which support and resistance line, on which pair, on which time frame you were supposed to really pay attention to. And then one, let's just say you've magically figured that part out. Now, is price supposed to bounce off of it or is it supposed to break through it? Now, even people who have dedicated years to price action trading, um, they have a better idea of what they want to do with it than most people do, but they're never, ever going to be 100% sure. 
And that's a really tough thing to not have 100% certainty behind your trade to where indicators are great because if you do it correctly and you have something you have tested and you can trust, it will give you a crystal clear signal every single time. So, so many reasons why I think indicators are far superior to price action. I actually did a podcast episode on this and it this is going to get a little crazy. I'm going to put so many references down for you in the description. Anytime I've already talked about this in the past and you want to know more information, I will give you a link down below in the description that you can just go directly to. Um, I also have a podcast. Every podcast episode I make also goes on YouTube, so you can just access it there if you want. But there was an indicators versus price action podcast and uh, the people who have been with me a while, I said, hey, tell us down in the comments section. When it's all said and done, which method did you like better? And almost every single one of them said indicators. Almost every single one of them have had much greater success overall with indicators than they did price action. But the reasons I want to give here and the one we just alluded to is there is no guesswork. It's so frustrating, especially after you've lost a trade, to never really know if 100% that was the trade you were really supposed to be in in the first place. You know, it leads to a lot of self-doubt, leads to a lot of second guessing, and you cannot carry these things with you if you expect to be a professional trader. Now, another thing I really like about indicators is you can often customize them. They will come with default settings, but you can tweak them to your liking and make them better than they already are. You can't really do that with a support and resistance line. Now, you can't do this with psychological price levels, uh, but with indicators, you can take something which is already good and make it even better. And that's really exciting because sometimes the default settings are the best way to go, um, but often it's in your best interest to customize and tweak and test and make something that is already good even better. Um, and you just can't do that with many price action tools. I would say almost all price action tools. I can't think of one you can really tweak to your benefit, uh, but indicators you can. And guess what, traders? A lot of these indicators were actually created this century. For the longest time, and I know why this happened, it's because people are lazy and they took all the tools they were using for stock trading a long time ago and just blindly carried them over to Forex trading, which is a really bad idea and you're going to see why in just a minute. But there have been improvements, all right? When it comes to cell phones, do you want a cell phone that was made back in 1993 or do you want one that was made this year? You know, things improve, things get better. Very bright programmers come to the surface and start making things that are newer and better than the thing they had before. And it is to your benefit to use these, yet nobody out there does. And it just blew my mind why they would turn a blind eye to these things um, when they were right there in front of us the whole time. So what this channel did over time was show people, hey, there's a bigger world out there. You're not stuck using these old, outdated tools. And newer isn't always better, but it's often better. And so you should at least start looking at things like that, right? I mean, how good do you want your trading system to be? You know, do you want it to be very limited and out of date? Or would you like it to be as, as good as it can possibly be? I mean, it's your money, right? I, I'd imagine you want something to be as optimal as humanly possible. Indicators allow you to do that, and a lot of the newer indicators that have been put out in the last 10, you know, 15 years will get you there. But if you're watching most of the media out there on Forex trading and technical analysis, you would never know this because they just don't bring it to you. I don't think they know either. It's just one of those things. So along came this channel, and now a lot of people know. But you could also take those things and combine them for even better results. And I don't want to get too far ahead here. We will talk about this. Uh, now, you can combine price action tools for better results as well. But when you start combining indicators and doing it the right way, absolute magic unfolds. And the traders who have been with this channel for a while can attest to this. Uh, when that moment happens, it's like nothing else. And it doesn't really take that long to get there. It took me a while. It's because I had nobody telling me what to do. So now you have me on your side. And I'm going to make this process still involve a decent amount of work. Don't ever think you're going to get out of that, but the process is going to go a lot quicker and a lot smoother 
more importantly. So you don't have all the ups and downs and potholes that I had along the way. So let's jump into things. Uh, We're going to talk about those nine rules that I want everybody to know before they move forward in the rest of this playlist. Now you might be wondering for number one, and this is really big. I put this first because I need to get rid of some of you right now. And if you want to leave, that's fine. But you're probably wondering, why have I not gotten into the real meat of the content yet? It's been over 10 minutes. It is a complaint I get on the YouTube comments sometimes. It says, you talk so much, but you say nothing. All right, look, I know what a lot of people want. They want to come in and in the first 20 seconds be shown an indicator that they can take with them and start plugging it into their trading system immediately and start making a bunch of money. I would say this is literally half the people who come to my channel for the very first time. Um, Now, what they don't realize is that they are fools. Forex trading does not work this way. There is a lot more work involved. And I do my best to set up the videos to stress the importance and point out some of the things I want you to understand and look out for before the video even starts. Instant gratification monkeys don't make money ever. They are hardwired to fail. All right, so this channel is not for them, so I shall take my time. Um, But there is work involved. All right, you don't just take something, plug it into your trading, and start making millions of dollars. Uh, There's lots of work involved, even in indicator trading. You know, an indicator is something that does a mathematical equation for you and tells you when to enter a trade, often at times, but Given the fact that that's what we work with, there's still a lot of work involved to put this together. So be ready for that. There is no quick fix. Um, One standalone indicator will never, ever make you successful anyway. So sit down, get some snacks, get a drink, and buckle in because you have a lot to learn. Um, This... Just stop looking for that one and done type stuff. So many of you out there do, and it's the reason why your trading has never gotten better since you started. All right? It's a $5 trillion a day market. Do you really think you're going to be able to watch one 10 minute video on the RSI and start dominating this market? You are out of your stupid mind. But look, that's what the majority of people want. So if I were going to make videos for those people, that's what I would have done. You know, I took a chance by making videos for the people who were actually ready to do this right and put some real time in. And it turned out to pay off. Turns out there's a lot more of you out there than I thought. So that's a really good thing. But figure out which side you're on right now before we go forward, because this will be a longer video. And this is how most of my videos go. I take the slow, deliberate approach because this is a slow, deliberate process. And I want to make sure there are no questions left unanswered. I want to give you everything you need for the time being in one video. All right. But my style mimics the way most people need to approach this market. Slow, deliberate, do things right, test it out. And then once you have something really good, then move on to real trading. If this doesn't interest you, this channel is not going to interest you. It's been fun, but please go away so the rest of us can learn how to beat this market. Number two, Forex is not stock trading. We said it before, the biggest mistake people made is they took all those old outdated stock trading tools, blindly carry them over to Forex thinking they were the exact same market. They are not the same market at all. And somehow people just never got out of that bubble. They just kept using these really old, outdated tools that weren't even created for our market. And they wonder why the success rate in Forex was so low. Um, So some of these concepts carry over. I mean, price action is price action, I suppose, but a lot of them don't. For one, stocks have supply and demand. That's how they move. That is not how spot Forex moves. All right. We don't care about the overall supply of euros out there. That has nothing to do with whether or not the price is going to go up and down for a Forex trader. All right. So you you completely take that out. And you could even argue that long term, it might have something to do with Forex. But once you start trading one currency against another, 
which is what Spot 4X is. What may have had a little bit of influence before is completely canceled out. Now it has absolutely none. All right. And that's pretty big. Like what moves the market at its very core? It's a pretty important thing, right? And you have two completely different mechanics at play here. So if you're trying to use the same tools for one as you did the other, I'm not surprised one bit when those tools fail. Most common indicators that you see right now, not just the price action tools, but even the indicators were created for trading equities, not Forex. All right. So when I said you need to look for things that are a bit newer, this is why. Getting stuck in that bubble is such a terrible place to be because all of these people you see on Forex Twitter and on YouTube right now are fundamentally doing things wrong and most of them just don't realize it. Number three, uh, there's more than just five, 35 indicators out there. Um, so MT4 is the most common charting software out there. So I'll just use that because that's what I know. But it includes about 35 different indicator choices. Um, most places you see online only talk about, about a third of those, if that. Um, but it's crazy. And I, I never understood this either. You know, they're all right there in front of you for you to use. Um, and some of the better ones that are already included never get spoken about. Never understood why that was. Um, but don't just think what's right in front of you is all that's there. Like we said before, if I've tested over 2,000, you know there's more out there. There's actually over 10,000 different indicators you can use. Um, sometimes, depending on where you are in the world or what charting package you have, they're also called studies. But when you add them all up, there are over 10,000. And that was the number I saw a couple years ago. So that number has certainly gone up over time. There's programmers out that are just daily cranking new ones out. It's really a cool thing. But don't let any of this frustrate you. It seems like a lot. Um, again, it was a lot to me. <laughs> I had to figure out ways to just eyeball some of them and say, no, that's not what I want to use. And I'm going to teach you how to do all of that. So you're not spending all of your entire day testing these things out. You're going to need to put some time in for sure. But you know, for me to throw 10,000 different indicators at you like that, uh, that's not going to motivate a whole lot of people to get started. Um, believe me, it's going to end up being a lot less. And a lot of times within two or three seconds, you can just look at one and say, that's not going to be something I'm going to use for my system. So don't let any of this overwhelm you. It's definitely going to be some work to put your own system of indicators together, um, but it's not going to be impossible. It's not going to be arduously testing 10,000 different indicators. That would be crazy. It's not that, um, but you are going to have to get started at some point. But before you do that, Number four, especially if you have been trading Forex in the past, especially if you are somebody who has put some years in, uh, you know, you, you have some experience in the Forex game. Before you really come here and learn how we do things, you're going to have to kill some of your sacred cows. Now, what does that mean? Most of you know, some of you may not. Right here, you can see sacred cow. And this is such a great definition. So follow along with me here. Stop looking at the pictures. Look over here. An idea custom or institution held especially unreasonably to be above criticism which is exactly what these old forex trading tools are look at it again idea custom or institution held especially unreasonably to be above criticism traders i looked all over the place when i started this channel i could not find anybody saying anything bad about support and resistance lines. No opposition whatsoever. All right. If you were not making money using support and resistance lines, then it was your fault. Not the tool's fault. It was your fault. Never mind that all of these tools people were still talking about were old, outdated tools that were not created for this market and did nothing but provide endless confusion for so many traders. I was one of the first people to speak out on these things, and I knew I was going to catch a lot of heat because this is all so many people have ever known, and they have so much respect for the people who are teaching them how to use these things, and this is how you get stuck in a bubble, and this is how you never break free of the bubble. So here's how you break free of the bubble. I know this is going to be tough because so many of you have been using the tools I trash on my channel for such a long time, but 
if you're ever going to do things our way, you have to get rid of these things first. And the way you do that is to stop getting so emotional over lines on a screen. Those lines might have been responsible for some wins in the past. Those wins made you feel super good. I get it. At the end of the day, there are lines on the screen. I can show you better lines on a screen. Stick with me. Now, there's a sunk cost fallacy as well. You might have dedicated four or five years of your life to learning Fibonacci and you know basic price action and naked charts and things like that. And you've put so much time in, it's, you feel like it's too late to change. Uh, well, I offer you this. Uh, do both. Do your thing, and then off to the side, do my thing. And once you get good at my thing too, compare the two, and whichever one works better for you is the option you go with. At the end of the day, we're just trying to make the most money possible, right? Well, so you owe it to yourself to keep an open mind. Um, just because this is all you've ever done doesn't mean that has to stay that way. You know, Try other ways of doing things and compare. I mean, I won't tell anybody, I promise. But getting all pouty face about it because I'm trashing some of the tools you currently use and trying to introduce you to a better way is not going to get you to your ultimate goal. You need to keep an open mind and realize I am on your side here. If you get emotional about these tools, and then when I'm making fun of these tools and I'm saying how ineffective they are, you think that I'm speaking about you. That is not what I'm doing. Please understand, when you are one of the very, very few people, if not the only person on the entire internet who is trashing support and resistance lines, you got to come hard out of the gate. All right? you, can't, you can't go soft. You can't say, oh, well, you know, you have the option to do this or that. You're like, no, you have to be definitive because that's how I really feel. And I need to get this point across to people because they have been so stuck in one mindset this entire time. You know, don't get so caught up in the way I present it. Don't wrap your identity around these tools. They have nothing to do with you. You are an open-minded free thinker. You want the same thing the rest of us think. All we want to do is make the most money possible in this game and hopefully do it for a living someday. And if we have one common goal and we realize that common goal, it's a lot easier to move forward. It's not me against you. I'm on your side. Number five, I have alluded to already, but I need to stress this. Newer is usually better. It is not always better, but it is usually better. You know, like I said, would you rather have a cell phone from 1993 or one that was made this year? You know, The choice is typically very easy when you take a step back and look at it. Because as I also said before, spot forex trading on your computer, which means it's, it's widely available to the retail public now, has only been around since 1996. All right, A lot of the indicators and all those tools that people just fall in love with were carryovers from a bygone era. All right, So much more has come around. The best programmers in the history of the world are alive right now. A lot of them were not programming 10, 15 years ago. You know, they're young or they're in their middle ages. You know, take advantage of this talent pool. We don't know if some of these newer indicators were really created for Forex or what they were created for. That's why you test them out. But we do know there's a better chance they're going to work in our market if they were actually created during the time our market was around. I made a video called The Dirty Dozen. It's one of the first videos you are going to see on this playlist. It might be the very next one. I, I don't remember. But everything I trash on there is a tool or, or an indicator that was made well before 1996. If there are all of these new, improved tools for you to use available to you, why are you not using them? Why are you not taking advantage of the best time to be alive as a Forex trader? Makes no sense. You got stuck in a bubble, you got stuck into that group think, and now you can't get out. Get out. Take advantage. It's out there for you. Now, in one slide, I'm going to make your search a lot easier and a lot more efficient. This may also involve you parting with a particular way of trading. But understand, and I did an entire video on this, which I will link below as well. We are trend traders here at No Nonsense Forex. We do not sit here and trade reversals or try to pick tops and bottoms when we are trading spot Forex. This is not stocks. Stocks have intrinsic value. They actually can be overbought or oversold. Forex currencies cannot. Not when you're trading one against the other. 
They will go as high or as low as the powers that be want to take them. All right. At some point, they're going to form a top and form a bottom, but there is no logical place where this would occur. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I did make an entire video on this very concept. And if you're the type of person who's made it this far in this video, you are probably somebody with the attention span that we're looking for to be able to watch videos like that and understand exactly why we do what we do. You know, trust me, once I've gotten people away from reversal trading, things get instantly better. And it's going to go a lot faster now, too, because you can look at indicators that are set up for reversals and immediately look at it and say, you know what? I don't think I really need to test this because this whole thing was created to try and find tops and bottoms. And that is no longer what I do. And so you just move right on to the next one. And, you know, 10,000 indicators doesn't seem like so much anymore. Um, but I also made another video, and I will link that below too, in terms of what type of trend indicators you are going to need to be looking for as well. And if it doesn't fit the three categories I talk about, you can skip those too. You know, the search for indicators does not have to take a super long time. It's going to take a while but it doesn't need to go ridiculously long. And when you already know that 70 to 75% of the indicators available on the internet are just not the type that we're looking for from the start, you know, this process goes a whole lot quicker. Number seven, what was number seven? Oh yeah, <laughs> one of the most important ones we have. You have to test these, you know, I think Bill Gates said it, if it's not, if it can't be measured, it doesn't exist, all right? You'll never know if these things are good unless you actually test them. I've tested everything I trash. You know, it's a little hard to test price action, um, but I got pretty deep into it and I knew my trading wasn't very good until I found indicators. And then when it came to testing indicators, certain indicators worked a lot better than other ones did. Um, but you can't sit there and say, oh, this tool's good and this tool's bad unless you have actually tested them. When anybody comes in and says indicator trading sucks and price action is the way to go, what they are really saying is I have sunk four or five years into price action and I spent about all of five to ten minutes on indicators and didn't like what I saw. Stupid, stupid, stupid. You know, They just don't want to put in all that extra work. They've put in so many years into this faulty way of trading. You know, They don't want to hit the reset button and start all over again. They feel like it's too late. But this is what you have to do. All right. As far as people who follow this channel... The ones who have actually done the work and tested these indicators to see which one works better than the other ones do are the ones who are succeeding over the ones who just use the indicators I recommend. You know, there is a clear difference in the success rates of those two groups of people. Um, and here's the good news. I have podcasts that show you exactly how to test these. I have one on how to test indicators as a standalone. And then I have videos that show you how to test an entire put together system. All right. I'm again, I'm making this process as easy as I possibly can. But when you have all of these great options available to you, you owe it to yourself and your bank account to figure out which ones are going to work the best for the system you are running. If I ruffle any feathers when, when I say this, understand it's not ill intended, but it's almost like that guy who grew up in a town that, of, of 40 people and he just married the best girl he found in that town. You know, that's great. They might have been married for 20 years, been super happy, had a great family, but did you really make the best decision you possibly could by marrying that person? You know, would it not have been a better idea? I'm just, follow me on this, you know, just to date women outside of your town to travel to other places and see what those women are like. You know, put them through your own little dating test, and then, when it's all said and done, find out which one of those was most compatible with you. you know, it's probably the move. And women, same thing. But traders, you have options. Lots of them. Utilize those options. You know, if you're somebody who committed too early in the past and got married to trend lines, leave her. She's not going to care. It's a line on a screen. You know, you put the work in. You don't want to put the work in anywhere else. I get it. But you don't have a choice here. If you want to make money, this is what you need to do. You need to find the most optimal trading system for you. And you cannot do that if you are now aware that there are so many different options there for you to exploit. And you choose not to test any of them out. 
All right, that's on you. I'm just here giving you options. Options are good. Number eight, you're going to need more than one. All right, you're going to test these indicators out. You're going to find really good ones, but different indicators do different things, as you're going to find out in your testing. Um, and certain, you're not your top three indicators are not going to be the ones which make your entire system. But you need to find out which ones play well together, because if you can find that, an indicator that scored really well on your accuracy test can become even more accurate and give you even more winning trades when you add the right indicators to it to almost serve as kind of a checks and balances system. All right, one standalone indicator is not going to get anybody anywhere. You need an entire algorithm of indicators working together in harmony. All right, and I say algorithm and that scares people. It's not that hard to do. An algorithm really, by definition, is just a system of rules that all have to say yes to one thing. And if they do, you go. If one of them says no, you don't go. That's it. That's all we're doing here. But just don't ever think that this whole process is going to be the search for the one holy grail indicator because that does not exist. It's all about putting the best system together possible. And this entire channel shows you exactly how to do this. Number nine is the most important. And that is why it's in green. Color of money or American money. Uh, but you will see this theme throughout the next few slides. You know, you don't want to be in the red, so red's going to be the negative, green is going to be the positive. But before I get to the most important thing in this entire video, I want to answer some objections first. You know, I didn't always see these coming, um, but over time, I have gotten a lot of people, and this is going to happen whenever you come out and say somebody's, you know, favorite tool or indicator that they love to use is not a very good option. All right. You're going to get some pushback naturally. And I just want to go over some of the pushback I get because you're not only going to see it in the YouTube comment section um, as we go forward in some of these videos, but a lot of you are going to be thinking this too. And just understand that I empathize with you. You know, a lot of you were just like me. You got caught up in that bubble in that little echo chamber to where people said, these are the tools you use. And it's just a matter of you getting really good at those tools and you put in a lot of time. Uh, that sucks when you have somebody else saying that all of that time was pretty much wasted. Um, in my opinion, it kind of was. Um, but these tools have given you wins in the past on top of that. And even though you, you might have lost more than you've won or you've only won about half the time, you know, those wins give you a huge sense of euphoria and you become emotionally attached to these things because they gave you that win. It made you feel like the smartest trader in the world. And you will forgive the next three, four, five losses sometimes, as long as you get another win at some point. Um, and it sucks. It's this, this horrible loop that traders fall into. Uh, but just understand, your results can be a lot better. It's just going to involve switching up almost everything you do. All right. It's what I had to do. I came out so much better for it. So many traders, thousands of traders at this point have come through this channel and just completely switched everything up on their end against their better wishes and have also come out a lot better for it. All right. We want you on this side, um, but you got to break this emotional attachment. Okay. Because people get legit mad <laughs> when I talk bad about a lot of these indicators that everybody is stuck on. All right. I even created a character. You guys know Bufus. Bufus always has an issue with me trashing his favorite indicator. And I wasn't always ready for these arguments, but they're not bad arguments. They're actually really solid arguments. Looking back on it, maybe I didn't realize it at the time, um, but the main objections I get. All right. And I see this a lot more on like the Heiken Ashi video. The CCI video is a big one. People really like that tool for some reason. Um, support and resistance lines, of course. RSI. All right. But one of the main objections I get is you shouldn't show the indicator as a standalone indicator. You need to combine it with other tools. Well, yeah. I just got done talking about that. If you combine anything with anything, if you do it right, it's going to become better. The absolute shittiest tools out there get better if you just combine it with something else to eliminate a lot of the losses that really bad tool gives you. But stay with me here. Consider this. 
this wild, crazy idea. How about find indicators that you know are actually really good because you've tested them and combine them with other indicators you have tested that are also really good. The people who throw this argument at me never do this thing right here. Never. If they did, this argument wouldn't even exist. They didn't put in the work. Maybe they didn't know about the work, but just understand, you know, using an average or bad tool or indicator can always be improved by combining it with other tools and doing it the right way. But when you get the good ones and compare it with other really good ones that play well together, you have something amazing. Traders out there, if you want to put it down below in the YouTube comment section, just how magical this little combination is once you finally find it, let them know. Let the people watching this video know. We're going to have a lot of new traders watching this video. I want people to know just how awesome this thing is right here once you get it down. All right? It takes some time, you know, no doubt, but it's worth it. And once you do it, you'll never say things like this ever again. Objection number two. This is, all right, I actually really don't like this one, <laughs> but it's people who argue, you know what, you don't like Fibonacci. The reason you don't like it is because you never really dedicated enough time to it. If you get really good at it, it works a lot better. What you need to do is go read these two 1,000 page books on Elliott Waves, and if you do that, then you'll become a lot better trader. Yeah, screw all that. Uh, what if I do all that and I still end up having the same frustrations with Elliott Waves that I had before? What if, stay with me on this, there were actually way better tools out there at their core than Elliott Waves or the CCI or Fibonacci, but I wasted so much time going all in on one old ass tool that I never had the chance to test anything else and I overcommitted and now I'm stuck like you are. Bad move. But then again, when you're only presented 12 to 15 tools and people for the longest time were telling you this is all you got to use, you don't, you don't have any other options, well then maybe you know you fall into this trap and you find one and you just go as far as you can with it. Uh, but like I said, there's 10,000 other options out there for you to try. So what you probably need to do instead is test a bunch of things first and find out which ones on the very surface clearly work better than the other ones do and then go all in on them. Do you want to date one girl in your hometown of 40 people and just hope for the best? Or would you rather date many girls and eliminate the ones who are not compatible with you or the ones who are crazy and over time select the best of the best with a large sample size and go from there. Again, none of the people who say things like this ever did anything like this. If they did, I would pay much more attention to what they had to say. But you cannot tell me this is the best way to go if you've never done both. If you haven't tested out multiple ways and you've just been stuck in one way of trading, don't even talk to me. Don't sit there and tell me or my audience what we need to do when you have not even tested barely anything else. You probably weren't even aware of all these options, for one. But if you're going to tell me that this is better than this, but you've never tested this, Fair warning, your opinion is falling on deaf ears. The final objection I get, and I probably get this one less than I do the other two, but it's still important we talk about it because I think it segues really nicely into that rule number nine, the one I had in green. Um, so that objection is this. I know somebody on YouTube or on Telegram, whatever, who uses trend lines and is a millionaire. And no, you don't. Or I use support and resistance lines and I have success with it. 
I use the RSI and I've had good results. Well, that's great for you. We're not worried about you and your success. Anything is possible. I'm not saying it's completely impossible for anybody to win using these older tools. I'm just saying it's not very probable. The success rate in Spot Forex is absolutely terrible. We need every advantage we can get. And when you use things like stochastic crossovers and trend lines, you are not putting the odds in your favor. Those are 50-50 propositions at the absolute best. We need every advantage we can get here. And the good news is, is by taking indicators that we test and we know have a great track record of being right far more than 50% of the time, and then we combine those with other really good indicators, we have a much, much better chance of winning than somebody who's just flipping coins. But you can still win. and You can have a great Forex career just by flipping coins. I guarantee you if there are people out there who are making money in this game and doing well because of things like trend lines, for example, it's not because of the trend lines. I just don't think they realize it. Because, traders, number nine, the most important rule in this whole thing that I am here to tell you in this technical analysis video is how technical analysis will not be the thing that makes you rich. All right. Two other things that are far more boring than technical analysis are the two things which will make you rich. Money management and trading psychology. Two things that are criminally underserved on Forex YouTube. So few people talking about this, and when they talk about it, they only really gloss over it. You need to go pretty deep into these two things more, believe it or not, than you do technical analysis. Because with the best technical analysis in the world, if you are not razor sharp on those two things, it's not going to matter. Now, as unsexy as these things are, the people who get it, the people who have actually understood how important these two things are, have all had their accounts go higher. And that is really exciting. Okay, That is worth the price of admission right there. One of the people who heads up my prop firm, he said it himself. He says, you can't actually just flip coins all day. If you have the right money management, you're going to win at this game. Bottom line, it's that important. It's everything. And trading psychology, I put up right up there with it because it's one of those things that will completely ruin everything if you don't have it. And so few people actually have it right. All of you out there who have been trading Forex for any amount of time have run into self-sabotage at some point, and many of you are still running into it now. Technical analysis means absolutely nothing if you don't have these things ready to go. And this channel has entire playlists dedicated to these two things. Now, I suppose this begs the question, well, VP, why even worry about technical analysis if all we have to do is flip coins? Well, here's why. You know, we should spend ample amounts of time on this. And the reason is this. Flipping coins is fine. All right. Money management and psychology are never going to be perfect. We're going to get you as close to perfect as possible. So if you were to just flip a coin and go long or short on any currency, you actually could make money in this game. But 50% is fine in this game. With good money management, with good trading psychology, you're going to make money. But every little percentage point you can improve on over that 50%, over the course of your entire trading career, could end up being tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of dollars added to your bottom line. That's why we do this. Yes, I believe it is possible. I believe there are a small handful of people out there who make money and make a career trading Forex just by using trend lines. But again, trend lines weren't the reason. The reason is because they have immensely strong and unwavering money management and trading psychology skills 
that most people just don't have. And that's why they were able to pull off you know, a lucrative Forex career using a tool that really amounts to a coin flip at the end of the day. I am much more interested in doing better than that. I am interested in getting as many of those extra little percentage points as humanly possible. So from the time I even enter the trade, I am expected to make money because by increasing your percentage higher and higher, every trade you enter, you are the odds on favor to make money on that trade. And that is an amazing feeling. And when you plug in great money management and trade trading psychology into that whole system, it's magic, baby. I'm telling you, step into this world and give it a try. You can't say anything bad about it unless you've tried it first. You can't speak ill of a place you've never been to. You would look like an absolute buffoon, and many people do who comment on this channel. Don't be one of those people. Try everything and then pick the best. Why would you not do that? You know, this system, just so you know, has a very, very high success rate. You know, I'm not going to say results are typical. You know how you see on the commercials that say results are not typical. I would love to be able to legally say <laughs> that the results here are typical because I think they are for the people who actually do this the right way. All right, you have absolutely nothing to lose. If it doesn't work, then go back to what you were doing. You know, but at least you can say you tried it. You know, it makes absolutely no sense for something like this to be out there and then it, and it's free and all it costs you is a little bit of time. And you did absolutely nothing to go out and see if it could be the one thing that completely changes your trading life forever. All right. And I cover it all. I leave no stone unturned here. I got a video on just about everything. You don't have to like indicators. You don't have to like me, but you still owe it to yourself to give this a try regardless. I think you'll come around once you really start seeing success. And so many people have. So in conclusion, Indicators are superior to everything else out there. It does the work for you. It gives you definitive signals. There's no guesswork. Many of them were made in this century and for this actual market. They're actually relevant to what we're trading for Christ's sakes. All right. The only people who don't like them are the ones who have not tested them the right way and have put in very, very little work, if any work at all, to actually making these things work for their system. Uh, but a combination of the right indicators is the game here, all right? And this channel shows you how to do that, but you have to test. This will not happen overnight. The people who have stayed for this 50-minute video are the people who I'm looking for to run this system because the people who lost patience 40 minutes ago are doomed. They really are. I mean it. There has not been in recorded history one person with no attention span who is always seeking instant gratification and nothing more who has ever made it in this market. Those two things don't go together. You have to be somebody who's willing to learn and put in the work. All right. And at the end of the day, as much as we love our technical analysis, as much as we love indicators, that's not where the majority of your focus should actually be. But hey, look at the good news. The, on this channel, the money management playlist and the trading psychology playlist are much, much shorter than the technical analysis playlist. So it's a lot easier to learn and get right and to have you start seeing results right away. So go do that. And while you're there, you're going to be with us anyway. So subscribe, hit the bell. Don't miss anything. If you love indicators or just the idea of indicators or have a, a small interest in trading with indicators, there is no channel even close to this. And if you're new, I'll put the beginner's video in the description as well. And what that does, it gives you a roadmap on how to best navigate this channel. So you're not jumping around all over the place and getting frustrated. And I'm talking about things that you haven't learned yet. You know, it's there for you. It's there for a good reason. Start there and enjoy the ride. But the work starts now. So go get it.